Marcelo just said in his press conference that he feels that at the moment the fans have some doubts about the players. Do you feel that as a playing squad as well? No, I don't think so. I don't think, you know, I wouldn't be in this job. We wouldn't be doing so well if we did think that. Um, obviously, the fans have their own opinions and some fans obviously do have doubts out there, but it's not for us to be concerned about. We don't concern ourselves with stuff like that. We just try and move forward and try and work the best as we can as a team and you know get results for the club. Do you think it is based purely on the size of this club, the expectation, the long wait for Premier League football? As a, as a Leeds boy, do you feel that as well? Um, I think what you just said at first, I think it is because the club is so big and you know we're expected to do so well and get back into the Premier League. I think you know a lot of people looking in from the outside, you know they do get nervous and they do get anxious about you know us us losing games and us not playing well. But I think if you look over the course of the season, we played exceptionally well. Um, I think you know we've had a couple of results that have gone against us and we didn't really need them to, but I don't think it's all to panic about. Um, and for me, you know, as a hometown lad, all I want to do is just get this club back to the Premier League. You know, it would be a dream come true for me. And, you know, whether I feel anxious or I feel nervous, you know, that goes out the window when I step on the pitch. I just want to do the best for the team. And, you know, you can have times of feeling nervous and anxious, but right now is not the time. So The club took a lot of plaudits for the performance after the Arsenal game. You in particular. There was a bit of debate about you and a potential England call-up. Is that something you think about? Is it an ambition that maybe if your form is good that maybe Gareth Southgate might take a chance on you and give you an opportunity? Um, yeah, I think it's always an ambition. You know, as a young footballer, you always want to you know, play for your country. You know, it would be a pleasure to play for my country if I did get the chance. Um, but I don't really, you know, I don't think about that every day. You know, I think about my job at Leeds United and what I've got to do as a player to get better. Um, and obviously it'd be, it'd be an honour to play for my country. Um, and yeah, not really much else I can say about that. But when you look at the other players in your position, do you feel you're their equal? Um, it's hard to say because you know, I've not really seen you know the other players that play for England in that position, but um, you know, I feel like I am capable to play for England. Um, it's just whether obviously the management do feel that and you know obviously I've got to do my best as I can as a football player to you know win games and do well uh, personally but for me I don't really think about that right now I think about you know the team and you know how well Leeds are doing. Have you spoken with Gareth Southgate at all? Do you have any chats with him about you? Um, no, not personally I've never I've, you know I've not been in touch and um, I don't know ever. They've been in touch with my agent or whatever, but um, I don't really think about that. I just think, you know, if I play well, you know, maybe I'll get the opportunity. So. Yeah, how do you sort of deflect that attention then, Calvin? I know you're quite laid back, but, you know, when you're away from here, you don't have time to think. Like, how do you deflect that away from here? I don't know, really. Just try and keep busy. Try not to think about stuff. Got two dogs at home, just chill with them, my girlfriend. Um, but other than that, nah, I just think about, you know, every day I come into football, I just want to do the best I can, you know, get the most out of myself every day as I can and, you know, work towards getting the club back to the Premier League. Cam, you felt you had to say something on social media after the game on Saturday, but what sort of made you feel you had to do it this time rather than say another time? I don't know, I just, you know, I've seen a couple of things flying about and it wasn't necessarily that they were lies, they were just made up and I just didn't think... You know, I know that there's a lot of fans out there that, you know, are nervous about, you know, the last result and, you know, that we hadn't won in seven games or done this, done that. But um, I don't think it's hard to worry about. I think, you know, us and, you know, the team above us, West Brom, have both been through, you know, sticky patches. And, you know, I think it's part of the league. I think if you do so well, you at times you're going to have, you know, you're going to have you know, runs where you don't wanna you don't win or, you know, you lose a couple of games, so I just don't really think it were anything to worry about to be honest. I think it's just football and you know, as long as we're going out giving hundred percent all the time then that's all that matters.
you've got an interesting side in QPR, sort of free scoring at the front end, but giving away the back end. In your role, how important are you to ensure that Leeds get on the front foot as much as possible on Saturday to expose them? Yeah, it's, I think every game, you know, I try and do that. Um, the manager constantly drills into me that I have to get on the ball a lot for the team to play well, and I try my best to do that. But I think, you know, teams now are, you know, they've played us once and they know what we do, they know how we play, and obviously they watch videos on us. So I think they try and make it more difficult for us, like Sheffield's they did last week. Um, but, yeah, I think we've got other ways to, you know, get around stuff like that, and, you know, we've been working hard since the Sheffield Wednesday game to, you know, put that right. He is a particularly good player in the QPR setup. Um, in your opinion, just how, how difficult is he to, to combat? Um, I think he's one of the best players I've played against so far. I think, you know, the way he moves the ball, the way he moves his body, you know, it's very difficult to keep up to that. And, you know, I like going into tackles and stuff like that, but when you can't get near somebody, you can't <laughs> really go into tackles. So, yeah, we'll look to try and obviously make it very difficult for him but you know for the for the QPR team especially we just look to you know make it difficult for them and press them and you know hopefully take a few chances early on. Thanks Cal. Graham, other than um, other than him, who do you think's given you a, a good battle this season? Who have you enjoyed playing against? Um don't really know, it's hard to say. Um good battle I don't know. I don't know. I don't really, you know, after I play a game, I don't really think back and think, you know, they gave me a good game or maybe the games that we've lost, you know, the teams. I think, you know, one of my toughest games, and you might you might raise your eyebrows a bit, were against um, Charlton, the number 10 for Charlton, Johnny Williams, I think yeah. it was. You know, he was very tough to play against. Um, but, yeah, you know, other than that, I don't really think about that. So. Are you, are you ever surprised by an opponent or because of all the preparation and analysis and the fact that you've played for a few seasons now, do you generally know who everyone is and what they can do? I think you know, but I think, you know, you can always be surprised. Whereas, you know, as they play for QPR, every time I play against him, I think, nah, I can't bother playing against him today because I don't need it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you come, you know when a player's, you know, good enough to surprise you and when a player's... When you when you think you know a player you've got them running on a player or you know you think that you can you can um, outmatch the player in that position. So. Cheers. Aaron, transfer window, Calvin. How much attention do you play? Do you play to it? You're obviously, a football fan yourself. Not much. Not much. I'm not really. Don't really bother me to be honest. It's loads of rumours. I think. Um, I think. You know, obviously, there's loads of rumours that fly around, but you know, I try and keep my my distance from it and try and stay away from it. Must be hard for the last not to talk about it though, obviously potential teammates. Yeah, obviously, you know, we always wonder what, you know, maybe the club will sign somebody or whether they don't, but, mm. you know, personally I think, you know, the squad that we've got is, you know, a brilliant squad. squad. Um, you know, I think, you know, we've done brilliant this season, so, you know, whether the club want to sign anybody they can, if not, then there it is. Anything else? Cheers. Oh, it's 47 minutes, that was. <laughs> <laughs> that